Get back to the hermit's cave. Damn, that nose is long. I almost went to the end of the game. I kind of, I almost forgot that we, right, we're doing this whole weird level. Hermit's Cave Time Unknown. That's interesting. But they have been hinting, not even just hinting, they they have been saying that this, uh, the petrification disease stops people in terms of, like, time. Could be a fun game to unpack metaphorically if you look at stuff like that but i just don't have enough of the information in front of me at the same time to figure out if there is anything My bad. Probably got distracted by the attacks, but I thought I had more time than that before I was in trouble. <laughs> this, that loading screen is starting to feel like an accusation at me now. I can appreciate that it was more or less the main story-ish. Like it wasn't a. It's not like it was meant to be a secret that Aldora was a liar, but it still feels a little funny, just how overt it becomes by the end. Where you're just like, okay, the game's just telling us at this point that he's the liar, up to the point where he just admits it. And I'm like, what? Oh, he turned around. Ah! I didn't block in time? Ow, how did he get me? Stick it up the butt. It's time to get your cheeks clapped. Black steel cutter blade. I probably should have been showing off more of the movie. I don't know. People can just look up YouTube videos if they want to. I don't need to be a service for every single person. I understand the idea of why it would be fun if I, on some level, if I was poking at all the different move sets just to see what they look like at the very least. But at this point, there's such a backlog of them that it would be really time consuming to poke at all of them and. This is the one that I built as my build. Right, I can just jump. I was like, no fair, it's covering the whole path. Was there a place earlier I, did, I didn't go to because that was there? I should double check. So I was almost like, I almost, I think I remember, I remember seeing one and thinking it was kind of off limits and it's like, I can just jump over that. Like this. That did not come off. That did not knock him off. Double kill. Yeah, there we go. I did not trust my ability to jump over that because it was at the top of the of the thing. Here we go. Here's something. I am becoming disgustingly high damage. But that tends to not show up in quite- oh, that gap almost got me. Tends to not show up in quite that way during actual boss fights. The water is strange. I'm not sure when it started. I still hate that this does this. But my tears and blood have also turned blue. I don't know why it's so short. I don't see what purpose it serves. It's not like you're about to be interrupted by combat. They're almost always in these discreet, quiet locations where nothing's happening, so why is it in such a hurry? I have seen the revelation of the blue butterfly. 
They have asked me to free them from this prison in time. What if there's an optional boss fight here? That'd be cool. The fairy is far. The fairy is crying. The hands on the clock have gone round and round to find the boy's future. I can almost think that maybe it's because I have a really good... I have a pretty good computer. Being a gamer boy, what, what with it being my job and so on, will that mean that I'll often have a better computer than like the average consumer has a reason to have? Because uh, I use it to render and also and so on also, and also I have like a job incentive to have it be pretty good. Although I don't, I don't actively chase stuff and buy the best thing as people do. I'm usually like an entire, like for Nvidia cards, I'm usually like an entire like thousand behind on like the number because I'm like there's no reason to get the current generation it's almost always pointless and also weirdly full of like problems and given that toaster's computer caught fire I feel validated in that but I, I do but my point is that that I went to get it I was just I was just thinking like is it is a frame rate tied do I have too high of a frame rate that's probably not it this game's probably designed to be run at 60 frames per second and I probably told it to cap at 60 yeah I capped it at 60 which sounds insane to all you guys, but I am recording and or potentially streaming, so I almost always cap games at 60 frames per second. Unless they're competitive, I might give them double that. But I almost always set up some kind of frame cap, because I don't want infinite frames. I want the game to sit in its own little corner on my resources, and not actively consume the rest of my computer's resources, because what if they're being used by OBS to record and so on? I don't want all these diff things to fight for space on my computer. Granted, don't know shit about computers, really. I know enough about computers to be the person that people ask for help when they don't know, when they know even less about computers, but... <laughs> I am mostly just making it up. Because almost every, almost every... T t ah. Oh no, I'm stuck in weird boards. What the, how was I stuck there? Whatever. Almost everything I know, I know almost entirely based on intuition. Ow. I still didn't make him blue. Now he's blue. Whoop. There we go. Big blue. And that attack's also supposed to do a lot of damage now. He was still a person, kind of. He could talk. He was acting intelligently and still was conscious. Maybe he wasn't psyched about what he was, so maybe it's not a huge loss, but I feel bad killing him in that case. I leave the butterflies riding here. Remember, you are human. Now, it's time to get out of the string. It's all about pursuing humanity, which is very Pinocchio. The black cat's hunting apparel and some quartz. Hey, we got a quartz. I doubt I'll be able to afford another skill, but if I, but just in case, I should probably pursue the lowest cost nodes I can look at. Which, good news is, I don't like the higher cost ones anyway, so that's fine. And it looks like it doesn't matter what node you pursue; it's the game's perfectly happy to let you. I want to do a double check just in case that I didn't miss anything. Because levels don't usually end at a dead end and then make you actually run all the way back. But I don't think I missed anything, yeah. But as far as I can tell, uh, progressing down the tree unlocks the next chunk of the tree. That's the obvious part. But also it seems to unlock the next ch uh, tier of each... Uh, upgrade you get from the list because there's weirdly kind of two trees happening at once and that one does not seem to require you to be it doesn't require you to be currently upgrading a node of sufficient value or anything it's just like ah eh, whatever take it uh oh okay it goes that way fuck it they're designed to hit to hurt me going in so if i'm leaving i'm probably good The 
This turned out to be a whole thing. I'm surprised there was a checkpoint in here. I was surprised, surprised to find a checkpoint inside this thing, because it's just not that long a level. But as much as these games are about being kind of punishing and having to navigate, they are pretty willing to just let you uh, just be nice and just say screw it and just let you... Uh, yeah, I think it might have been right here on the left or something. There's definitely an item down there, regardless, so I guess I didn't get that. But yeah, it's just that... Oh, okay. Did not trust that. That might have been all that there was to get. I went through all that before. Maybe that's all that's left? Yeah. It might be easiest to progress forward to the same previous one again. To get back out of here. Oh, here it is. This is the thing that stood out to me. Ah! Uh, okay. Jump worked out, I guess. So that was just this path? Oh, so it was just here. Okay, so none of this matters. Got it. Can I jump down here? Not really. I am in danger. I am in danger. Ha 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 ha. Whew. I got iframes from doing that. That's funny. Anyway, my thought process was that, like, you often spend such a long time in this game clutching desperately to a particular, uh... 15k. Clutch, like ha looping back to the same place over and over again, and they make they put so much weight on an individual bonfire in one of these games that it's always just a little bit surprising whenever the uh, whenever they're just like, eh, let's put a bonfire over here, fuck it. Fifteen k point two. I forgot already. That's what happened there. Because so that's that's how multitasking goes. There we go. Level 79. And that was the Hermit's Cave. That was a whole thing. Neat. Uh, oh wait, no. Hotel Crop. We're not going there. Because I have another quartz. I almost forgot. Hippocrit. Oh, and we got another, <laughs> yet another record to listen to. I wonder if this happening is any way based on uh, my choices up till now. It would be kind of interesting if this thing was kind of based on that. But the issue is that most of your choices can't really affect people or be known outside of the specific person you did it to. So, like, if I'm seen as a hypocrite by the cat and the fox and Alidoro or something, I don't think there's been really a lot of interactions that they could base that on. Yeah, keep your guard regain. Sure. That's a decent one to get. Attack up. Free stagger duration. Effect based fable arts. Reduces weapon durability consumption. I should probably get that one. It's becoming a bit of a problem. Misty Ira. -er -er 
kind of just doubled how many records we have right at the end, didn't we? I feel so warm inside now. <laughs> and so we're back at Black Seaside. More souls, please. There appear to be angry scorpion men. Okay, I'm out. I don't even care. <laughs> there's no way these items are worth it. And there's no way these enemies are worth it. But did he just get shot? Let's see, all these things have to be dealt with first. This can't be... This cannot continue. This cannot continue. Ow! Okay. 
Got him. This guy didn't even react. Their AI does not even have the option to react. It's very weird. So said Pistris 2. Ah! I'm trying to read. No. Let me read. Quiet in the library. Ugh. Oh, fuck. No! Why won't you let me read? No. Well, you're coming. That's enough from you. <laughs> I hope you all have enjoyed this stupid weapon for this entire playthrough. I speak in more hypothetical terms than usual because this playthrough, I binged a lot of it so hard that almost none of it got the chance to air publicly. I'm just like, don't know how this feedback's going. I am, I have a much larger backlog than I've ever had before. Which in a lot of ways is nice. It's just that every time I get a big backlog of anything, it primes for the thing where everyone might be yelling about one thing every episode and that's, and that feedback's not, not hitting me. Kind of like how in the Phoenix Wright playthrough, we were just really wrong about the papers being in the statue for a long time. And the comments complaining about it every episode didn't reach us. It happens. Ultimately, fixing the one thing everyone's talking about isn't enough of a reason to give up on the idea of backlogging things. It's, there's just so many reasons why it's really nice <laughs> just in general. I think he's angry. He did not get a chance to fight back. And that's good. I enjoy that. Fuck him. Shot put. Put what? Where? So says Pistris the second. I, Adriana, recorded for the brothers and sisters, praise Pistris for the one who will swallow even God. Listen, my brothers and sisters, I, Pistris, shall tell you about ancient secrets. A star that was curious about humans pretended to be human, then became one. The humans saw its splendor and called it an angel. Although its form was the same, its substance was different. The undying substance, the breath of metal that lies forever. That is the reason humans wished for an angel. The angel gladly shared immortality with humans, but that blessing wasn't for everyone. Damn, imagine if you get like more than two pages of something. <laughs> This is my chance to look around a little bit more for whatever items I missed. Here's one. Then I dealt with the two big bads individually instead of together, while also not being bombarded anymore with that stuff. But a lot of this stuff is kind of whatever. Kind of, it feels it feels like bait that so much of it is here. Don't you want to run out and grab all these items? Well, you're currently being uh, murdered by projectiles. 
I could be wrong, but I think that ever since the siege weapons showed up, I've never been hit by a single one. I think I've always avoided them successfully. Because I'm just so good at video games. Never made a mistake on camera, ever. Come on, man. I feel so bullied whenever I charge up a super attack and the guy's running at me. I'm like, here we go. Here we go. And then right when he's about to enter my range, he just stops and starts charging his attack. And it's like, man, <laughs> I have the longer weapon. What are you doing charging all the way back there? Ow, tracking. But every one of these dicks was blessed with pursuing and tracking forward momentum attacks. My attack doesn't chase people. Can I read this thing? I don't see a glowy spot. It's that cool type of writing. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what anything's called. And I don't want to guess and be wrong. But I've seen people uh, writing in that in similar uh, languages, if not this one, on like a clay block. And it's like you use a little like you you use like a, a rectangular prism thingy. That's not that's what I call it. I don't know. It's a stick. It's a stick, but it's four it's four sided, and so you use the corners to make to, uh, like, at the very end of it, you, you poke those into the clay to cause those shapes that are all those, like, internal pyramids. Ow! Not gonna lie, I forgot what star fragments do. Let's see. Not consumable category? Where are they? Not there. Oh, there they are. Meteor fragment that can be found in the different parts of Krata that can be used to, cr to have the cracks calling in front of a boss area to summon a sp Oh, it's the summoning mechanic. Oh, it's the star that impersonates a human, like in the message I just read. Ah, that's neat. That's a little neat thing to notice and think about now. That's interesting because, like, I think in the Pinocchio story, there's always, like, a, a, a goddess that, or an angel that sort of gives Pinocchio life. Most of what I remember about Pinocchio is just based on uh, the Guillermo del Toro movie at this point, because it's my most recent thing I actually saw about it. Big boy. But that's interesting, because that's what they're poking at. And so they're saying that the person I summon for co-op boss fights is kind of like that, essentially. But I've never done it a single time. But it's the equivalent of like the Mimic tier from Blood... Elden Ring. That's the correct one. He looks dangerous. I did not see a thing, though. Is he not... No, he's a boss fight. Maybe he's not a big deal of one. Got individual door... Individual legs. Ah! Did not stun him. Just get, put me into shock, apparently. Oh, damn it. I have to do this. No, 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 no. Don't miss this chance. Oh, God, that's a lot of damage. 
Okay, so this is a... This is 110% a reference to the... Uh, the Tower Knight from Demon Souls. Down to the part where you knock him down by hitting his legs, and then that's where you do the real damage. You can eventually kill him with normal melees, but you, like... You obliterate him by landing headshots. Ooh. Get that stamina back. Okay, I think the shock effect makes my stamina take one million years to recharge. Ow, fuck! That was slightly earlier than I expected it to be. Okay, let's try to restore... Nope, that's, that doesn't do it. Fuck. It's the other one that I don't have equipped right now. The sta this effect has never come up before. God, it makes my stamina awful. It's so slow. Okay, there we go. No, don't immediately give it back to me. God, does just any amount of shock make my stamina that slow? Oops. God! Oh, I got stuck accidentally using my square. Am I about to fucking lose? Okay, maybe not. Ah, oh, fucking... Almost killed me. Jesus Christ. That's not a hard boss fight. Like, he's just not hard. He's basically the Tower Knight, which is meant to be pretty easy if you have any grasp of Souls games, I mean. It's literally the roadblock that killed most people that tried to make any anywhere in those games, but once you actually have even the slightest bit of proficiency, the Tower Knight just falls over. Uh, but it's just the fact that the shock status effect is so comically debilitating. Like, it, it turns off your stamina meter, which means it turns off your character. Brutal. High-level alchemist badge. Bit of a mistake that the guy guarding the door has the key. I guess things usually do, but I feel like he wasn't supposed to be, like, an intelligent, like, bouncer, ex exactly. The Bouncer! An unlocking device obtained after feeding a high-level enemy alchemist. It opens the mysterious door in the Arch Abbey. The Arch Abbey was built for a covert and lofty purpose. Wake up, evolve, ascend. This was the alchemist's ardent wish. I'm worried about these. I never used either of these Trinity keys. I think... I think... Uh... I think I can make... I think I've opened at least two, maybe three of those doors. But there's two more I never found. And I don't know if this next one's later in the game because it's the last one he gives you, so maybe it's in the Alchemist base. But beyond that, it becomes more difficult to see. Alright, well that... Got a billion health. My struggle is that I think there was a pacing to them where you're, you're given a... You're given a new... Oh god, that's very far away. Oh, there's a shortcut thing right there. That probably all kills you. I think there was a pacing to it where you, you got a new riddle, or then you got a new place to spend the, do the key. Then you got a new riddle and you got a new spend the pl place to spend the key. The problem is, with everything else that's going on, I don't really have a clear idea of when those might have been. So I don't know which level I failed to get the secret in. It could have been the first instance, it could have been one of the most recent instances. So, I, given that the keys don't have descriptions really, I don't know where to go to figure out what I missed. Because I don't know what zone to even check. That's funny. You're stuck behind the wall. It's 
Damn. This guy's not having a good day. His head flew off. Okay. Because he was too horny for his own good. Haha, <laughs> because he was covered in horns. That's the specific enemy that really looks like Manus from Dark Souls 1. Oh, use badge. I keep forgetting that you don't just step on it. Oh. Another shortcut system. Because instead of coming up here to this door, it activated those, so that means I just... Now, now if I die, I just take those bridges from the get-go. Look how close that ladder is. I feel like our guy's enough of a badass he should be able to just jump up there. Uh. Anyone in here? Gone light. Stop it. Rude. Ah, my streak! No! How could you do this to me? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, well, that's a particularly dickish placement. <laughs> It has an angle where it can see down the ramp you're currently on, and there's multiple enemies coming. That's gonna be a little hard to avoid. I guess I'll just grab my souls and run past it. And then let the enemies follow me to the next piece of cover, hopefully. The main thing is I need to get my stuff back. Eh, it's only 3k. It's kind of whatever. But on principle. I don't want to lose my stuff. Although I've already failed my perfect streak there too. Not only have I been hit by one of those uh, siege weapons. <laughs> Ow, stop. No, 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 no. Okay, I got the stupid item that I'll probably never use. Yay. Okay, so we need to be ready to roll, because he, yeah, he has an angle with that damn cannon. That means simply moving a lot is not safe enough. He shoots you, he specifically ang is angled to shoot down the ramp at you. I think there's, didn't I successfully claim my souls? Why are there less now? Do you always lose some of them? I thought you only lost some if you died again. And I did, and I did claim them. Unless it didn't finish claiming them in time? Maybe it didn't finish claiming them. I don't know. But anyway, what I was saying is I have a... I had a perfect streak of... Of not losing my souls, but I also had a perfect streak of not getting shot with the siege weapons, and here we are. Okay, now I'm further than ever. Extend the weapon. I think he can't shoot me from up there. I want to clear and explore and get all the stuff, but I also definitely want to just make sure that he doesn't get me again. Taking, going for him first. One of them's coming the long way. I didn't even lock on to you. The real focus was the crazy weapon. You were just a byproduct. Speaking of things that feel uh, demon soulsy, the big put the big group that's all not that big of a group, but I just think about that part of Boltaria Palace One Three where there's a bunch of people all kind of moving in a direction together, oh. which is just kind of interesting because so much of so much of Dark Souls in general is about pretty static enemies just kind of hanging out. You almost never have anyone that actually moves around ever. Yeah. This is going to get me the shortcut. I haven't healed yet, though, so it's not worth actually going back. But now it's down.
Mostly just saves a bit of time. Not a huge shortcut, because all the actual stuff is out of the way anyway. Uh, and the cannon doesn't normally respond as far as I've seen, so... The primary threat's gone, but... Eh, it's fine. It's accept It's it's a usable shortcut. It's just that I, I am aware that there's instantly a bunch of enemies there, too. It's not uh, an ambiguous catch-up moment. They've been giving me pairs of these lately, huh? But you're, they're usually not that hard to separate. Ow. What is that angle? Why'd they give you so much gooch? He's kicked up to the nines and there's just a bulge between the... the like, there's a, bul a bulge hanging under the crack. What am I supposed to think I'm seeing there? Well, because I'll tell... <laughs> I'll let you guess what my brain auto-completes. He hit me. I had to do a heal. Alright, I don't have a... Uh... I don't have a uh, blue meter for this guy. Ow. Oh god. Hey, I, I framed it. I'm so stuck. Okay. I do wonder if this is what I'm supposed to do. My weapon keeps bouncing off it, so like, am I supposed to use the much obviously heavier stance for this thing? That seems to not bounce off. And he's hardly taxing my time. He's, uh... Or he's not hes not contesting how fast I attack, I mean. he He's pretty slow himself. <laughs> Did I crack the code on how to fight those guys better just in time to fight the last one in the whole game? Because that, <laughs> that kind of gives the vibe of being the last Black Knight Halberd in the kiln. If for no other reason than because it's a sort of elite enemy that they've now used like five times or six times, but four times in this level already, so it feels like they would just stop around now. Because I guess it'll get repetitive. So you get the fifth, so get to about 16k. I think I can, it looks like I can get that. That's a level, I think that's a level 80? Levels are starting to come kind of fast. There's another shortcut. Let's see if I picked up anything new. Nothing is listed as new at all in my entire inventory. I feel like it might have... Uh, Cleared the notifications or something. I always think that guy's gonna explode. Because there are some enemies that do that, and they do kind of just like, and that guy does kind of just like spew his stuff everywhere as if he's about to explode anyway. Then when you defeat him, he doesn't do that. I don't trust that there. Yeah. Almost too easy, but that's just there. No! Ah, stop it! No! Ah. Oh god. 
Where'd that guy come from? Always with the asses. Fuck. Oh my god, stop. Oh my god, stop. Have I seen this guy before? I don't remember this enemy. Oh, it's the enemy without the rocks. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna die. God damn. My health is just getting shredded. Whew. There we go. It's good to have something go right again. Uh, uh, that looks low detail enough that I don't think I'm supposed to stand on it, but it does look tantalizingly close to being accessible. Bundle of old letters. A bunch of letters covered in dust. Dear Valentinus Monad, as a result of the last summit, we venerate families. We venerable families have decided to sponsor the Zelator Laboratory Construction Plan Activ. I just kept thinking the sentence was going to be ending sooner. <laughs> decided to sponsor the Zelator Laboratory Construction Plan actively. There are still those who oppose, but it won't be too hard to persuade them. The only possible variable is that they won't give any information about the lab. Being careful is a good thing, but we're the ones who provide the funding, so we don't want any uncertainties. We should never just watch. Old families have been looking down the most. Old families hate being looked down the most. Being looked down upon? Anyway. You alchemists know and handle so many things. I have no idea. I had no idea that place known as the Devil's Pit held so much value. But when a gold mine or a secret is revealed, you can't put the cat back in the bag. Don't worry about the construction workers. We'll take care of it. Real clean. Don't forget. If you look down or trick, or try to trick us, it's not, go it's not only the workers who will disappear. Till next time I see you. I'm looking forward to our beneficial exchange. In the name of the old houses, Wolf. Things are remaining ungood. Huh? This is quite the change overall. Oh, there's another full moonstone. Uh, that's a bomb. Nope, no disruption. No. Bad. Now stop. Beware the fart monsters. Ask not for whom the monsters fart, they fart for thee. I definitely look like a location where lore would be and not a random whetstone. Please don't explode. Okay. Sister Alchemist Odrid, although she could not be completed. May she be with us through uh, through her noble sacrifice. Could not be completed. Makes her sound like a puppet. Ah! Oh, they got a gun. Well, that's rude. Yeah. Okay. 
my battle cry. I'm so cool. Shortcut? From earlier? Yep, so that should skip the, ho the horrible scorpion dog thingy that doesn't have crystals on it. The crystals really slow them down. But that just drops down to where I was already? I must have missed a door somewhere? Oh, the, yeah, this goes deeper in. We're staying healthy, we're staying fit, we're staying tight. Bye. Our macronutrients are primed. Other words I think I've heard people say. Uh, <laughs> oh, they're on the walls. Weird spider dog nightmares. First discovery, Camille. Camille. She is probably the first puppet with an ego found by the Order. Before that, Ergo was seen as a jewel. Uh, pfft, that's just not what it says. Ergo was seen as just a travel expense for a holy journey of the Order. It was God's gift, but they didn't know that it was truth itself. However, God gave us fools the revelation for our enlightenment. It was God's miracle that Camille was made into a maid puppet. Despite being in the early phase, when the design was rudimentary, Camille caught and saved a baby who fell from a crib. Such function was nowhere to be found in the design. Her appearance and identity in living years were similar. So it was probably easier for her to manifest an ego. After hurriedly collecting Camille to launch an investigation, the Order found out that she understands language and got a message. <clears throat> Send me back to my child. <clears throat> By interrogating and taking Camille apart, the Order had opened the door to a new possibility. Later, means of control such as the Grand Covenant emerged, but it was a small problem compared to this discovery. Ergo is not a simple power stone. It embraces life. Through Ergo, we can open the door to eternal life. Wake up. Evolve. Ascend. With this discovery, humankind will achieve immortality. Hmm. Let me take a drink. <clears throat> so puppets were created to serve mankind as soulless, mindless automatons. But it seems like because they're they're powered by Ergo, they themselves are they, they're made of people. Because apparently Ergo is all from people. It's not just a random power source that has no baggage or context. It maintains the original people on some level. So these new life forms are actually old life forms in a way. At least there's some version of or inspired by the original person. Which means these people are kind of being trapped inside these bodies. Which means humanity thought it found free ethical slavery, and then it turned out to just be regular old previous slavery, but with some extra steps and body horror. Ooh wee, ooh wee. Ah, uh, how did I miss that? Oh, I didn't have access to it yet. Stop it! If that's gonna be the way forward. I think they want me to drop down and get that item, and then I guess I just have to. Oh god. Don't love this. Okay. 
Is this item worth it? It's a whatever item. Oh, okay, that's an entire ass full moon. Okay. I'll probably never use it, but it's worth it, obviously. It's the most powerful upgrade item in the game. I just went and got a little aggressive and splurged everything I could on getting them as fast as possible. Oh. This way. Look how long you can run for in this game. That's where I just was, right? Yeah, I don't want to drop back down there. I'm sure I remarked on this early in the game, but it's just like, oh man, you can just run for so long, it's so nice. You usually just can't run for that long in these games. <laughs> You're right, camera? Cam reacted interestingly to that. Damn, there was no warning that was happening. Okay, it happens on a timer. So even when I came back the second time, I'm like, I don't see a platform. I mean, I don't see a trigger for this. That was brutal. That just drops back down. Here it is. See, I don't trust these things now. I'm like, those things were on the wall all along, weren't they? They were not all evil. Yep, now the bridge before this building is open. This was very much just like a one-off surprise. Go up this building, we got a little funny surprise for you. But then the moment you finish this building, you don't have to do it again. Common enough in the level design, obviously, but... But in this case, it's kind of funny because, like, I think the entire building was less than... I think solving this building was, like, less than a minute long. Stop bullying him! What did he do? Ow. Damn. No iframes for chess here. Alright, well, we are running out of heals. But you're dead as fuck! Now we get the bait item, what hurt me so much. Oh, he also dropped something. A few things. A lot of F350 frame. I know I'm a mechanical automaton dude, but damn, what a boring naming scheme and whatnot for upgrade items. Mainly because I'm just never going to be able to keep them sep uh, straight in my head. Okay, so there's the checkpoint right there, so I can thankfully just go do that first. Hey, first try. I hope there's more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> No! Whoa, whoa. That is frequently my exact fear. Whew. Uh. How much was it again? Just short of 16k. I believe it said I could make it.
25, new milestone. 20 vigor, 25 capacity, 30 vitality, and 35 motility. That, uh... Wow, that sure sounds intentional. <laughs> Check out all those nice milestones we got. Mmm, you've got some nice milestones there. It'd be a shame if something happened to them. Ah! Surprise bonus items inflicted upon my person. The Azure Dragon Crescent Glaive. Bandana of the Honorable... Armor of the Honorable? Did I just get Guan Yu'd? So, <laughs> I, 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 no, I don't never know where to look for this thing. Uh, it looks like a lot like I got Guan Yu'd. The sworn, uh, a bandana worn by the famed general of the Eastern Land, the faded green cloth is a memento of times he spent with the Sworn Brothers. It's Guan Yu. The Sworn Brothers never forgot the oath that started it all. Yeah, the, uh, Changban River, right? Isn't that where it was? Uh, the Sworn Brothers never fought, never forgot the oath that started it all. When everything is over, they shall once again stand under the blossoming trees and raise their glasses to brotherhood. It's it's Liu Bei, Zhang Fei, and uh, Guan Yu, and I'm probably mispronouncing every one of those names because I can't, I can't not. It's impossible. I'll be a green man. Why not? Does the other one say anything? Armor once worn by famed general in an eastern land. Its colors may have fa have faded after countless battles, but it is imbued with loyalty that has yet to wane. Even the most splendid gifts from a powerful warlord could not outshine the memories he shared with the Sworn Brothers. Those who know honor know where their true values lie. He rode the red hair. And I guess this is his weapon. Oh yeah, the- uh, yep. Yeah, the Azure Dragon Crescent Blade. I'd play Guan Yu sometimes in Dynasty Warriors. He was like my... I don't know, fifth place character? Oops. Oops. A gigantic pole weapon from the Eastern Land. Its massive weight was borne by the, those who have undying loyalty. The hero wielded this weapon for his sworn brothers and the world. The dragon's oath engraved on the glaive became a legend passed down for a thousand years. Anyway, I'm using this one. <laughs> Swing. I always played Zhao Yun above all else. Yeah, I know, the guy on the cover. Another officer has fallen to my spear! What a nerd. I remember. Because those games even had, like, historical accounts. And tried to give you the, like, the... Okay, we're right back. We're, those were left off, because that's a new item. They tried to give you details about the characters. You know, the, the historical figures and what was, int what was interesting about that was just reading through and just seeing in, in those games that like how many figures throughout death first of all had just way less interesting of deaths uh they're all given all this dramatic purpose and meaning and and cool storylines in the video game but in real life a bunch of them just kind of died of like diseases and stuff it's less exciting but also like a ton of them uh, don't have a date of birth, or don't have a date of death, or neither in some cases. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> he was around. We have uh, a record of him showing up these, like, seven times. And that's, that's the last we heard of him. And that's just all we have. <laughs> it's not an ending, it's just an, an there's no more story. <laughs> it's just all the, ah! Oh my god, they actually have, uh, 
insect spray, but for puppets. It's punk ass. Perfectly standing in a spot where my weapon doesn't work, how dare you. Welcome to Sen's Fortress. It's extremely Sen's Fortressy. Anyway. Haha! <laughs> I'm smarter than you. Well, how am I gonna get over the- ooh, item. I don't think I can make that jump from here. And not only did I uh, buy and play and beat most Dynasty Warriors games, I would specifically like commit to like uh, unlocking every single character in each game, and then I would sit there and try to like finish leveling every character because they had like stat meters, and you could you could literally cap them out. And given that I also played Diablo 2 and World of Warcraft once upon a time, you can see why whenever grinding comes up as a concept, I'm just thoroughly over it. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> the way that I die because I just can't swing my weapon in these shitty little environments. <laughs> This guy managed to walk right up on a little choke point where I couldn't do anything past it. <laughs> ah. But yeah, I started with Dynasty Warriors 2. I remember being really excited when Dynasty Warriors 3 came out. Because that was the one where they added they added multiplayer. You could have you could play split screen co-op during the during the, the story. Which given that's Dynasty Warriors, that's just the whole game is you playing story missions over and over again. You just you just playing every single individual character's campaign was just your your chance to unlock every variation of them. And I enjoyed it all the way through five, and then six was pretty bad because that was the one where they added the Renbu system, which is that instead of the normal com system where you you did X X X Y X X X X Y X X Y, like you just would do X combos and then finish with Y or square and triangle. And, uh, where you finished the combo with a heavy attack changed what kind of finisher you did. And that was just a satisfying little loop, because... Doing a three-hit combo, then Y... Was, oh, shit. I still remember that X, uh... Square triangle was a launcher, square square triangle was a stun, square 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 triangle was a spread, so it was good for just being a bread and butter, uh, cl uh crowd clearer. Then square square, then four squares in a in triangle was a launcher, but specifically the one where if you hit triangle again, you would then chase them into the sky and start and beat them back down to the ground, or you could air combo them if I remember correctly. And then if you did five squares followed by a triangle, then that was this like a big multi-hit like fuck you like I've committed this far, so I'm obviously doing a very long combo on you, attack, and I think if you hit square again. Instead of triangle, it just ended. It's like, you finished your light combo. That's all your moves you had. But Dynasty Warrior 6 got rid of that, like, tasty little rhythm. And just made it so that you basically just... <sighs> you basically just spammed square forever. And, like, as you got momentum from a lot of hits landing, you got even cooler hits. And you kind of powered up. But you mostly were just hitting one button endlessly, which... Turns out they took a really simple system and made it way too simple. <laughs> and it just was really monotonous and boring. Which was disappointing because Six did have a bunch of cool ideas to make sieging more interesting. Like, you'd have enemy encampments that were locked up. And I think that was the one where they added the systems where... You'd have to, like, defend the peasants while they, like, constructed siege weapons and ladders and so on. Ow. Not the peasants, the peons is the word. A word I only know because of 
Dynasty Warriors. Ow. There we go. Played a lot of those games. Yeah, the little, little dudes would be constructing uh, ladders, and if they if you protect, protect them long enough for them to, to take the ladder... Hey, it's the thing I was hoping I'd find. If they got there with their ladder, then you could... Uh, that's a guy in here. Oh shit, it's the guy! Like, if they got the ladder to the wall, you could climb the ladder and then get over the wall and help the fight inside. And if they got the, the, the door slammer siege weapon thing, then the battering ram door goes down. Interesting little mechanics. But six was bad. Seven and eight were kind of peak. And then nine was so bad that I excitedly started playing it on this channel. And it was, and then even though I was firmly in the territory of where when I was comfortably not quitting playthroughs, I did like two episodes and immediately quit that playthrough. I'm like, no, I can't. This isn't. Oh, they're they're t t t approaching an open world dynasty warriors is uh, torture. <laughs> After about two hours, the entire game just feels like a chore, and, you're like, I, and I quit immediately. That was just sad, and I haven't played a Dynasty Warriors game since. But most of the series would not do well as a Let's Play. It's very, they're pretty repetitive. Well, here's our endpoint. The final key leads to the Riddle Master inside here. He's not good. He is ungood. I definitely missed one then, though. I wonder where that was. He's not doing great. He's also been stabbed. Oh my! An actual factual guest! <laughs> oh, I bid you welcome, puppet of Geppetto. This is our first face-to-face -face meeting, isn't it? <laughs> and I hope you weren't too attached to the rhyming. It gets to be a chore without the transmitter to help. Welcome to my sanctum of riddles. I admit I did not really expect you to make this journey in person. Oh, the havoc you must have wreaked along the way. Was there much blood other than what's all over you? I know all about those alchemist cowards. Hiding away on their island, growing more monstrous by the day, refusing to acknowledge either fact that they are hiding or that they are monsters. And how about you? Is this the real you? Or are you still practicing the liar's art as only you can? <laughs> you must answer. <laughs> the question is simple, but I repeat, you must answer. And that answer will show what or who you are. Who you have decided to be. Now listen closely and heed the king's speech. Or the answer to this one will stay out of reach. Are you a puppet? Or a human being? Which one are you? I'm a German Shepherd. Finally! You understand! <laughs> yes, we are human. <laughs> we may be trapped by ergo, but we live, we think, we love, we hate! <laughs> They have locked us in the prison they call puppetry. I learned this truth long, long ago. That is why I've been exacting my revenge against them all ever since. 
Blood and revenge, revenge and blood. It's the only thing that truly drives me. <laughs> and it was so much fun. <laughs> even if you're lying right now, even if you don't believe your own answer, the truth is clear. Proof is evident. Only humans practice deception so intensely for reasons that are so unnecessary. Oh. Well, huh. these moments of clarity are enjoyable. <laughs> now the rhyming, it helps me maintain focus. At, at least it helps me hide the urge to kill that I feel every waking moment. <laughs> But no play can go on forever. No. It was fun while it lasted, son of Geppetto. The king of riddles shall now retire. Quartz and the Alchemist Cape. Yeah, it seems like someone got him. I wonder why he's locked in this room, though? Like, how that makes any sense? Logistically, if it's the rooms that he got the keys for everywhere or what. I imagine that he was attacking people and then he got, and he went and got obliterated a bit. And they left him legless and impaled and he maybe crawled over here and wired himself into the stuff. Because that's the word, because he wasn't really mobile anymore. And made things work since then, I guess. The play is over. You don't have to go home or straight to hell. Well, that would be my choice. But you can't stay here. Not if you want to live. <laughs> About how he called. Aren't you curious, huh? Don't you want to know? Oh. <laughs> of course you do. Delicious. <laughs> Time is all I have left. But your time is limited, Geppetto boy. I will gladly waste every moment you have if you like. It's your life. So, come on. Now or never. This tower is absorbing all the ergo and crot. It was built in this precise location because it's the most efficient place in the world to study and use ergo wavelengths. But it's not even about me or you either. This is about the goddess in the tower. Now she, who, is worth saving. Her powers are impossible. Her knowledge is endless. She is more... Well... Awakened... Than any of us. And you see... She has so much power. It's not like she'll miss just a little. So... I have simply been... Sharing... Why bother? Well, <laughs> I was born. <laughs> Is there any more human motivation in all the world? <laughs> what if I made a puppet of a human? The way they made humans of puppets. What could possibly be more fun? <laughs> the play is over. You don't have about whether he is a serial killer. Ah, your eyes are sharper than your wit. You found the gift I left behind. <laughs> Wasn't it a sight to behold, huh? I learned from uh, an alchemist when I 
served him. Thanks to him and his surprisingly low pain threshold, I learned the location of their secret island. <laughs> Humanity sullied its own sanctum long before I found it. Blasphemed against itself. Against us. By playing God. But... I'm an artist. Murderer is a word the humans use to restrain us, to make us refuse our strength and power. <laughs> I'm an artist. An artist of blood. I have to admit, selling that particular sanctum was well. <laughs> fun. Even now, the memory is enough to make me shudder with something approaching joy. If only I could relive that triumph. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think he might be a bad guy. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, we got our payoff of that. And I got another quartz! Which I might be- that might be the exact quartz I need to do my next skill. I think I specifically picked something that only needed one more. These are all just in the middle of the room. There's a lot of, there's like two different elevators and another ladder that I think all aren't necessarily where I thought I had to go next, so. We'll see. This one's going down, so maybe it's a shortcut back. I don't know. I... I'm not going back. I am sick of consuming ergo. It's cruel. There's real meals and real songs out there. I'm not just a memory reading tool. What? You're n not the inspector? But if you're from the outside, that means we can leave. Thanks. I know the way out, so don't worry about me. Maybe I'll see you on the outside. I can read memories of Ergo. That's what I was made for. Ergo is crystallized time and memory. But God, I hate having to consume Ergo to read it. Why does it work like that? It's the worst. I can read memories, but I can't even dream of tastes, smells, or songs. I can't stand it anymore, so I'm escaping. When I get out, I'm going straight to Rosa Isabel Street. Find me again at Rosa Isabel Street. Goodbye. Hmm. Might be the way forward in the story. At this point, if it gives me a checkpoint, I'll take that too. And then maybe go back for the other things. Oh, is this the front door? Hey, it's the front door. My instinct was 100% correct. There was just surprises. We have no ergo. We live with an ergoless existence. Alright, well, your way out just got a lot easier, buddy. There's the door. <laughs> Bye. I learned how to be- I learned happy! I guess I should go back to that guy and show him the happy face.
Honestly, it's truly cursed that they made it a lever. Don't you guys get it? Souls elevators are all about stepping on a floor pressure plate and then rolling off. To send the elevator back down. You can't give me an, an elevator animation. Oh, he's still alive. He's back. He activated it. Oh god. It's my life. It's now or never. <laughs> How did he even set that off? He was flying. Yeah. Really, really, really did not think this guy was going to respawn. Not an amazing shortcut at that point, is it? it didn't even hit him. That's how mobile their attacks are. It's obnoxious, honestly. Oh my fucking god, man. Good. Oh my fucking god! No, I tried to deflect that. Alright, well I lost 50% of my heals against a guy I beat already. I'm good at video games. Just did actively worse. Granted, I was trying to get him to activate the, the floor panels for funsies, and that backfired hard. Anyway... I guess that just always collapses. Is this elevator a back way up? Uh, this is going too high, I think. Oh, I got off early. Then this lets me drop down. Yep. A Legion Caliber. Alright, well hopefully they're nice about giving me a new checkpoint before the boss fight. Because... Uh... I will lose my mind a little bit doing all these elevators. I believe that's just the normal response. <laughs> if I have to ride two elevators every attempt on the next boss fight, that would be a mean thing to do. Let alone having to run past that guy. Yeah. Especially since between the two elevators, that guy aggro's on you, and then you have to run to this elevator and activate the lever to then summon it to come down. Only for it to then... Then you gotta run inside to activate it to go back up. To actually wait for the same elevator twice in duration. Hello, sir. No, what I really need is life leech on visceral attacks. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> it's the, the enemy that has knockback. I will politely wait for him to go away. You patrol, right? I go around this way. Kind of. What? 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 Ah, fuck. I'm dead. That's stupid. That's genuinely stupid. I've gotten away with jumping over gaps before. And that was not an undoable jump. It was right there. It's just around a little corner. That's so stupid. 
I got away with other jumps in the same building. They give me an obvious threat straight across the path who's gonna hit me with like a gun or a disruptor fume that's gonna be actively dangerous. Like why would you walk straight at him if he's not gonna go patrol away? Why wouldn't you go somewhere else? They should add a- they need to add a physical wall there to justify that hitbox. They can't just have it be an invisible, uh, invisible box. That's stupid. I am annoyed. I did not- or I did not deserve that death. That was the game. Okay, well at least the elevator's reset. Based on the checkpoint you use or something. Which means I should be able to just run in here. Yep. Okay, so you don't have to wait for the elevator. You don't have to call the elevator down each time. That would have been a lot of waiting. Right. Where's my shit? No! I'm a little done with this level right now. Okay. Fuck, my souls are down there anyway. Going. No! Alright, well, we just had a rude time all around. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, part of my, my part of my screw up there was that I got caught up guard by my weapon being in the wrong form. Like, hang on a minute, my weapon's not behaving the way it's supposed to. Oh, it's in heavy mode. Damn it. Because I died. No! Ah. Uh... Fucked up. And now we wait yet again. Exciting. Mm-hmm. And the way we go. So I saw I saw an exit and I took it. <laughs> like, oh shit, and that's the early exit. My bad. Not my proudest moment. Go 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 go. Fuck, man. A classic, I got screwed over by the walls again. How did he dodge without falling off? Have I been there yet? Is that the way in I took? I think so. Maybe. The way he dodged backwards and didn't fall off the ledge was really goofy. You lost me five minutes by existing, you son of a bitch. Uh, press the fucking button. It's a shortcut down too. Uh, here, which is accessible from. That's where I knocked him down. I've been here before, right? Okay, yeah, this is the exterior, so I guess this does kind of sh a shortcut, but only if you don't use the elevator I just unlocked. So that elevator was a useful shortcut for all of five minutes. I think I lost more time than I gained from that ele for, 
from that elevator. Just from the things that I encountered as results. I'm not counting the NPC, obviously. You want to just talk to NPCs regardless. It's not like a time loss, but... Just... <laughs> that whole tangent made me lose so much time. And then there's just another shortcut slightly later anyway. Um... Well, that's why they gave me a shortcut. Here's the boss fight. I don't see a summoning thing, though. Is this... Hmm... Not seeing a summoning, th summoning thing tells me that this might be the fox. Because those are, like, not real boss fights. The, uh, normal enemy people. Yep, that's the cat. With the fox. Wow, you're really something. Seriously, that's impressive. How did you follow me all the way here? Fighting is always my last choice, you know? But you're not getting anywhere near my sister, friend. You'll have to go through me first. And I actually thought we were friends. Was any of that true? In the end, I really don't care. There's only one reason we were given a mission. I'll let you go if you give me gold coin fruit. Aha! I had a feeling we might eventually see eye to eye. I like you. Don't trust you yet, but I'm a cat. I'm slow to trust. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of Krat. Sick to death of just surviving. Hurting, stealing, kidnapping. Surviving. When the hell does it end? My sister and I are going to leave for a different city. Get my eyesight back. A fresh new start as a family. And you have to know, that old man, Geppetto, is safe. We were never going to hurt him. So please, just let my sister go. Ultimately, we, we want the same thing. Oh, got his mask. Is, the, is it truly an optional fight? This is extremely a room you fight in, so that's interesting. Huh. I wonder if he's being manipulated by his sister. Because they keep acting against me over and over again, and they keep betraying me every step of the way. But he almost sounds earnest. Like, I thought we were friends. Was it even true? And I'm like, what? What? I haven't done anything. You guys keep turning on me. And it's like, is she is she misrepresenting what's even happening in this story? And you have to know, that old man Geppetto is ultimately... Okay. The mask worn by the <coughs> worn by the black cat. It was an internal. It has an internal device that supports fading eyesight. But the boy who lost his sight closed his eyes for the last time. Before the boy who had lost his sight closed his eyes for the last time, he thought of how he had lied. That he was her long... her lost younger brother. And how much he wished that it had been the truth. He's lying about them being related? But not to me? To, okay, also to me, but he's lying to her about it? Do I go here now? The fact that you get the mask just makes me wonder if she reacts differently if you're wearing his mask or something. Otherwise, I'll just switch back. It could just be fun cosmetics. But for now, we're cosplaying as Black Sad. I don't know how close I can get to Black Sad. Probably this one, the big coat. Nope. Oh. That thing's gonna get angry at me. Let's see. 
Back to the barren swamp to teach a robot another emotion. What a through line. Today we're going to learn lust. Hello, my only friend. It feels good. Like being hugged by the sun. <laughs> It is a brilliant feeling, like the start of spring. Thanks. I think I've learned something about humans. If I make human friends someday, I'll tell you. You may not always be my only friend, but you'll always be my first friend. If Aww. I make human friend, may not always be my only friend. Aw, well we finished that storyline. I got another quartz. I got two quartz. I got too many quartz. I gotta start a whole new skill. And wonder if I'll get to finish that one. I don't know how many I don't know how many quartzes there are. <laughs> I'm only trying to buy really cheap skills that I actually get to get the bonus, hopefully, because if I don't get the final quartz in, then I don't get the bonus. That's bad. It's a lot of Legion Calibers, too. No new boxes, I don't think. Nope. Did I have a new song to listen to? I think I did. Nope. No matter what, they serve you. Welcome. You're not quite full of surprises either. Close your eyes. Come to me. Feel alright. Just dance with me. Oh. Oh, I already finished everything. I looked. Nope, this one. It's hard to tell which one's in progress. Faster. Enhanced Fable Art Attack. Shit. Missed that one in there. We're not even close to that.
Well, all right, we're back to it. I just made my fable attack stronger. I'm surprised that that was still waiting for me early on, but you know, you can only get one per row at the beginning, and I wasn't necessarily reloading the really re-reading the whole list from scratch because every time I would get access to the attack list again, I was unlocking a new tier. But whoops, that's one I definitely would have wanted sooner. Hello, big man. I'm looking for Miss Fox. It would be kind of cathartic if they came over and, and like joined me in a fight and helped me. As a payoff. But for all I know, that's st they'll still betray me again, because they keep doing that every single time. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Got him. But yeah, those folks love nothing more than to make me think that we're on the same side. My kinship for people and animal masks only goes so far. Ow! Okay! The fact that the ones on the ground have higher durability than the guys that are completely put together still. There's another one. that going to do something? Yep. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of continually surprised that this game still has levels. Which I don't think is a completely unfounded response. Because admittedly, it does kind of feel like the game doesn't have a lot new to show us, so it's kind of hitting us with the same old enemies. And a relatively straightforward, not especially Lies of P-themed, uh, just dungeon-assed video game dungeon. It's just a video game dungeon, what you've seen in a hundred games. There you go, a little more light. Stop it! So I take it all of those attack. Oop. I always praise Souls games for, in particular, being so good about having very unique levels where all the way through the level you're continually fighting new enemies and new combinations that interact with the level in different ways like you're almost always fighting a different enemy or a different combination of enemies or those level or those enemies are placed in the environment in a way where the environment changes the encounter But a somewhat sad thing that is authentic about the series, especially the first one, is the tendency to eventually kind of collapse and start just sort of giving you zones with spamming enemies. There's, in particular, a lot of the, a lot of the later zones of Dark Souls are worse, like how the Crystal Cavern is just, here's a crystal golem over and over again. But above all else, there's Dragon Butt Land, where you just fight dragon butts over and over again in one big lava pool, and it's like, it's just the same dragon butt, what the fuck's happening? And then you get through that area, and it's like, here's... the weird... 
Here's this weird floating demon blobby gut thing that shoots fire. Fight him 80 times. It's like hit him and the one weird blender demon that's shaped like a blender. It's like the demon ruins love to just spam the same couple of enemies and not have them do anything particularly interesting with the environment. And so they kind of failed to be a Souls game in a way. So if you're making... <laughs> So it's not too surprising that the thing that's that's based on those games would also kind of fall into the same thing of like, all right, well, here's a kind of a here's a kind of grueling gauntlet where you just kind of fight three enemies a lot. <laughs> Even the mini bosses are just things we've seen before, or the elite enemies, or whatever you want to call them. And so we just keep on grinding. There's always say that my uh, my gut sank a little bit when I uh, we encountered the cat, and then I was like, okay, cool. So now we're now we're gonna encounter the fox, and there'll be some kind of payoff to the story. And nope, here's more of kind of the level you're already playing, but more of it now. And I'm like, man. I kind of thought I'd ride the elevator and then con confront the, the fox lady without more padding. One of my least favorite thing about gamers sometimes is just their need to quantify... Their need to take the, the amount of time they spend with a game and take that as a mark of quality. Oh my god. <laughs> The requisite, uh, every Bethesda game is a 300 hour game explanation and so on. I think some games are just- oh god, I haven't seen this guy for a while. Some games that are just way too long do seem to genuinely just exist in that form because of this approach to rating game quality. Ow! Oh god. I thought I might actually kill him first. Y'all, I have suffered an ouchie. They are hitting me with every mini boss now. Damn. But they forgot about that guy. I swear he only happened once in the whole game. In a way, it's like, oh, variety. But in the other way, it's like, oh. It like feels a little bit like desperation. I'm not trying to rag on the game or anything. It's neat. It's a good game. It's the best Souls like I've ever played. And it's maybe better than one or one of the Souls games, even. That's, that's potentially true. It's It's really good. That opened somewhere. <laughs> uh, when I say out of desperation, I say that like one of my criticisms of uh, Elden Ring was the fact that the dragon encounters were so cool and the death bird was so cool the first time. Because it opens up the idea like, wow, even when you're just roaming the world, a boss fight could just happen at you in just in a field with no big signifiers that there's an enemy here besides maybe just the fact that it's a somewhat suspiciously low on enemies field. <laughs> that's about it. Like no big signposting, no big here's a boss arena. And that, that was really that was a really cool surprise having a surprise boss fight happen. And also him being way too hard and being like, let's come back later. This is not gonna work out for me. Ugh! This fucking weapon. Really? 
I'm literally using the thrusting attack because of the fucking hallway shape and it still managed to hit the wall. That's stupid. Really? The hitbox of this weapon's genuinely stupid sometimes. Like, this is getting ridiculous. I'm genuinely... At, on some of these attacks, I'm genuinely not in the wrong here. The game is. This is getting absurd. Wow, that shoot through my health. But like, one of the things that really dampened Elden Ring for me and made me rate it significantly lower by the time I finished it was the fact that such interesting encounters like that... I guess this controller is getting old. It's starting to lean. Uh, really, really interesting encounters like that that weren't just... They weren't just good on them their own. They specifically... Ooh, there's a vessel to investigate. They specifically... Uh, elevated the entire game for me. They opened up my... They, they, they were instrumental in opening up my idea of what was possible in the game, getting me really excited about the game as a whole. And specifically that excitement comes from the idea that there's going to be future cool stuff. Like this. Like, wow, this was so cool. What other surprises are there? And the it turns out there wasn't so many surprises left, because they kept using those two encounters the same way over and over again for the rest of the game. There's some variations on the encounter themselves a little bit, like what abilities they have, but they really did just recycle the same fights and stop coming up with new surprises. And you're like, no, shit. No, you literally failed to follow through on the thing that I was excited about. And you knew that thing. Oh, here it is again. I didn't even finish my rant before it happened again. Ow. It's like, you don't have to agree with me, but my point about all this was the fact that these, this game's willingness to give you, hit you with the weird surprise mini-boss with a unique moveset and appearance and was a really memorable dude. And having him just happen at you, often as an ambush while you're wandering around, was one of the really cool things about this game. And the fact that you would fight this weird surprise enemy you've never seen before and often didn't get a chance to even see before the fight because he just showed up for that fight as an ambush before he could react. They, they dropped a unique item and then never spawned again. But not only did this zone kind of immediately start spamming... That's in our courts. This zone started spamming the same uh, handful of mini-bosses over and over again, and now it's starting to like cycle through and recycle every mini-boss we've ever fought, seemingly. And it's like, oh. On one, uh, on one hand, I can definitely see why someone might think, oh, it's like a, it's like a, a it's like a, a boss rush. It's a little challenge run. It's also like, look how far we've come. These were all big fights once upon a time, and now we're just taking them all out. Or, and it's even like a reminder of the previous game, maybe. Like, I can see the way to steel man this this element. But I can't help but be a, feel a little bit like, oh, damn it. <laughs> I, feel a little, I feel a little bit like the game is desperate for content, so it's recycling all these bosses that were once unique and doubling them all up to the point where when I'm pointing that out, it happens again before I can finish even doing my little rant. Ow! No. Uh-oh. Ooh, well, I, I think I iframed that, even though that's not how red attacks are supposed to work. Ow. Ow. It might be more forgivable a little bit if it was like, here's a special arena where you gauntlet through all the previous bosses and to feel cool about how far you've come, or... Really, in particular, it'd be more inspiring if it just, like... Oh, fuck. If it was just a more interesting level, I guess? I think the issue here is that the level itself is just not very exciting. It's a pretty li The game's relatively linear, but this one's like... This level's especially linear. It's just sort of a, most of it's just kind of a generic temple. And we're just grinding through enemy after enemy. 
and it's often the same guys I just fought, just in larger and larger numbers, and I'm like, okay, man, where's the fox lady? You, you've taught me, you've shown me who to anticipate next, and you're not serving it up. But what you're show giving me instead of the thing I'm anticipating isn't especially interesting, and I'm ready just to confront this fox lady now. Like, this is just the same guy coming out of the same capsule, and then I one-shot him the same way. And the only variation is that sometimes my weapon collides with the wall and I have to improvise a reaction because my attack fucked up. So the most exciting thing happening in these encounters is self-inflicted uh, challenge mode shit that I've done to myself where I've committed to a very unwieldy weapon that admittedly feels really good when it isn't doing that to me. <laughs> but I don't think that's the challenge they were going for here. So that seems like the forward way through the level, but there's also that and that. Oop. Hey, it's a flashback. Remember when we first fought these guys and every single time they had their back facing me, so I got to do an easy kill every single time? That was really funny. It got increasingly surreal how consistently they were always with their back to me, and I got to keep executing them by doing heavy attacks before they could actually turn around. It was a while before we actually fought one for real, I think. This feels dangerous. Yep. Yep, I even thought about the guy that we saw up on the ledge already. I should have just killed that guy already. He's the guy who turned around and shot me. Fuck.